So when we talk about steel designations, what we're talking about is the letters and numbers which are associated with each different type of steel. In the stockyard here you can see we've got various different grades and different thicknesses. We're going to be looking at what these letters and numbers actually mean uh, because it's really important when you're placing your order, uh, you understand what the material is and make sure that you're getting exactly what it is uh, you're going to need for your end user or for your customer. So we're going to be using um, the reference numbers on these um, different grades you can see here and these were set under the standard EN10025 and that replaced uh, the old standard which was BS4360. The majority of steel grades that we offer are structural steels and this is noted by the S in front of the grade. There are various different types of groups including P for pressure vessels, L for line pipe steels, uh, we do also offer some E steels which is engineering but the majority of what we do is structural steel and you can tell that by the S in front of all the different grades. So after the letter, uh, what you get then is a number, and this refers to the minimum yield strength, and this is part of the steel's mechanical characteristics. So yield strength is effectively how strong the steel is, and this is critical for design of steel parts. The number refers to the point at which the steel becomes deformed when force is applied to it. So in the case of 275, we know that this means the particular grade deforms when 275 newton millimetres of force is applied to it. You may then also get a letter and number after the long number, and this refers to mechanical characteristics as well. So this could be something like JR, J0 or J2 for example. And these refer to Sharpie impact tests. When you see the J before the number, this means the test was conducted at 27 joules of energy. The variance in the number refers to the temperature of the test. You will also sometimes see a K instead of the J and this just shows that the tests were conducted at 40 joules of energy rather than 27. The temperature and the joules value is important as it will impact on the performance of the steel which will ultimately have implications of what it can be used for. And again we'll do a separate video on impact testing so again look out for that and we'll put uh, a link to that once we've done that in the description for this video. After that you then may have uh, any uh, particular treatments the steel has undergone. Uh, this could include M for thermomechanical rolling, N for normalising or AR for his roll. So what we do at Malthouse is we normalise so we can provide that or we can buy the material already normalised. To put all that together if we have a look at an example of some of the material that we offer we're looking at S275JR. What this means is it's a structural steel, its minimum yield is 275 newtons per square millimetre and the Sharpie impact test was conducted at 27 joules at room temperature. Then if you look at uh, another grade that we offer which is S355J2 plus N, again this is a structural steel, the minimum yield is 355 and that's been tested to 27 joules at minus 20 degrees which has then been normalised. So hopefully that video gives you a bit more information about the different types of steels that we deal with, also what the actual deal steel designations mean, the letters and numbers and how they could uh, influence what you're buying or what your customer needs. Uh, if you would like any more information please go to our website at multihouseengineering.com or phone us on 0121 557 8455.